Rooting Around with Jenny Morris on Heart FM. Uh, Jenny from the chopping block. Hello, Jennifer. Good morning, my darlings. How are you this morning? Never mind how we are. What's in the box? Can we open it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, the box is about Julian, because <clears throat> Julian, this is the lead up. He was saying that he wants now a lead up to Christmas. Yes. So I thought, okay, um, this is a perfect way. So I thought I'm going to do a stocking filler. So this is the beginning of your stocking filler. And it's something that's going to go into your tummy. Julian, yes, did you open Jenny. that box? No, I didn't, Jenny. Tell the truth. Um uh, my box, box, my box is sealed. It says, the, "Oh, good." Wait, 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 Show me. Do not open. <laughs> Do not open. We haven't opened ours. I mean, it's sealed top oh, and good. bottom. See it's there, Jen. Why does why does my box not have a sticker that says "Do not"? Because open? Because I trust you. Oh, okay, <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, is anyone I don't trust is Julian because my- I used to neskirch as a. So can, we open, can, can we open ours? Can you see boxes? my box is still closed, Jenny? Jules, I'm so proud of you, my angel. I'm loving it. I'm right, loving we're, it. We're recording oh. all of this. It's going on Facebook uh, after the show, so you can have a look. Can we open our boxes? Mark Whip. Open. And while okay. you're opening your box, I'm going to quickly talk you through. Um, Mark Whip. Mark Whip, buddy. Yeah. <coughs> oh, wow. Do you have a close the front door? All right. <laughs> Vanilla chai latte. Are you sure you sent the right boxes to the right people? Yes, <laughs> yes. What does Aidan Thomas know about vanilla chai? What do chai I know latte? about chai latte? <gasps> oh, spice chai. Latte. chai. A spice oh, chai. Okay. Yummy, yummy. It'll make you sleep well. Okay. Stocking filler. Didn't ever say that. Stocking filler. Open. S- spiced chai. Okay. Jenny vanilla Morris Rust. Chai. Yes. Okay. Jenny Rusks. Oh, Stocking beautiful. filler. No, this is um, this is interesting. Red cappuccino. Do you get cappuccino? I get chai. I mean, <laughs> no, the cappuccino is at the bottom. Is the red more? cappuccino. You'll see the little the little packets. Vanilla uh, nope. chai, instant chai. Mm-hmm. Latte. I didn't. I didn't get the cappuccino. No red cappuccino. There I'll make you. sure you get some. Don't you worry. You know why? We're celebrating our heritage. Rooibos. Rooibos is traditional. Okay. And oh, um, it's what, all red. Uh, I wish I could understand. Okay. What are you doing this uh, traffic? There's smoke. Of course, I must heat the pan for the boys. Um, so, the reason you have got uh, that box is we're mm-hmm. going, and we're going traditional, we're going truly South African. I'm afraid I couldn't send you this because oh, I was yes. very nervous that that would break. <laughs> but you never know. Um, Aiden, you must. You never know. You could get surprised. That bottle of something would have would have trumped vanilla chai any day. <laughs> We're Morris, making eggnog. Do you made with real butter and fresh range, um, free range, free range eggs? eggs? Do you make your own rus? Yes, my darling. She's this a woman of. What you call pivoting. <laughs> she's oh, a woman wow. of many talents. All right. Well, I tell you what. We've opened our box. We've got uh, the, the first of what's going to be filling our stockings in the lead up to Christmas. Jenny, we'll come back to you in just a moment. Uh, oh, what, just very quickly, what are you cooking for us today? Um, today I'm making you a beautiful, <coughs> excuse me, a pakanya. Um, it's a lovely uh, steak. We yes. do your steak, and you know what? I wish we were in studio because look at the stone fruit. Kalkat. I'm so excited. Ah, ah, kalkatpad. You like it? Mm-mm. Look Mm-mm. at me. Oh. No, that's you. You can you can have that. Stone uh, fruit. Uh, Carl Hart Pesca, it's, it's the bane of my existence, I promise you. All right, so we've got Jenny doing a pakanya. We've got Jules uh, on traffic duty. I mean, there's just a whole lot going on in this half hour. This is Hot Breakfast with Aiden Thomas. 6 to 9 a.m. Jenny from our chopping block. She's in her kitchen. Uh, we're recording her. We're watching her on Zoom. We'll post it all to Facebook afterwards. Uh, in the meanwhile, though, um, uh, let's just have a quick. Uh, let's just have a quick listen. Uh, yes, Jen. What's uh, what are you up to? Okay, so <clears throat> excuse me. I just thought this Christmas um, maybe do something different. If it's like, especially a small family, a pakanya instead of maybe a leg of lamb or a gammon. You know, just sort of go off the beaten track a little bit and you could serve it with this beautiful salsa 
Yeah. So normally, <clears throat> excuse me, we've cut the grass in the field. I have got such a terrible allergy from the grass seed, you have no idea. Good grief. Um, so what we've done, and don't, it's only grass seed, Bill. That's like grass, grass, mowing grass. So um, I was going to roast you a whole pecania, um, and but I've got a really hectic morning, so um, I'm going to be rushing through. You see? Yes. So I'm going to do just a steak. But the idea is to do a beautiful whole piece of pecania. Pecania is part of the rump. You know when you buy a piece of rump steak? Mm-hmm. And you've got that little piece on the end that you boys normally, when you're doing the braai, you eat it before it comes inside. The test of us. Yes, the test piece. Mm. Now, that's normally... <laughs> look at Adam says it with a straight face. <laughs> As if someone that's braaied before. Mm. Ah, ah. I'm still there eating the test piece. I, I don't braai, as you know. <laughs> Quite that beneath like me. The, la- the lazy little muscle that hangs yes. around with the rump, you know, it just takes a ride. So I'm going to just, I've done this a little bit Cajun style. Um, I've got some paprika, some chili powder, some celery salt, and just my pepper mix. And I'm going to just stick it in the pan. And while that cooks, I'm going to just knock the sulfur together. I'm going to use coriander, which I love. I've got some chili powder, not fresh chili. Um, oh, look at this. Lovely Jenny, I'm, I'm, yes. I'm going to challenge you one day, and, and I mean, yes. I, it, it might be very difficult, um, and, and I'm not suggesting you do it right now, but I'm going to challenge you one day to cook like a man. Yes, and do nothing. No, just, <laughs> look at you now. No, just, just do the meat and enjoy the meat on its own. Tomato sauce. That. Tomato sauce out of a bottle is an amazing salad. Okay, that is as much this. salad mm. as men need. We, we do you don't, think so? Yeah. I, I, I always see you. You make such beautiful salads. And I think, hey, if only she knows we're not going to eat it. And there she is chopping and chopping and chopping. And it's but leaves you know what? and stems. And, uh, it's uh, delicious. For, yeah, for you people, for us, we just eat the meat. I know you need the iron. Um, Whether we need the iron or not, we don't make salads, you know. But why not? It's Be- time. Because you must eat change. it on a roll. That was the story. <laughs> anyway, that's that's for a future show. Just meat only, meat only, no salads. Anyway, but you know I've, what? I've never sat with a bunch of guys say. in a WhatsApp group working out who's going to make the salad. It's always who's going to bra- <laughs> who's going to bring the meat, who's going to bring the dop. That's how it goes. There's never. Oh. Yay. Who of you is going to make a nice, like, tossed salad or a three-bean salad? It never. Guys just never have that. Jules, mm-hmm. do you agree with him? I do, unfortunately. <laughs> Is that you? No wonder you landed up in the cardiac unit. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Are you just fired. eating? No. Are Your you just eating meat? I am so shocked at you. Fired. No, no, that's, it's, it's true. Mm. You need fiber in your life. You need all kinds of things. And the problem is, yes, meat is very good for you because it's a good source of protein. And it's good for zinc because that gives you... <clears throat> but <laughs> it also oh. clogs up your arteries. If, if you're wondering what the mm is, just wait for this Facebook video to come out. <laughs> <laughs> you will see what the mm is. Yes, okay. It gives you mm, It right. gives you vuma and zuma. There we uh, go. Zuma, zuma, whatever. Do you the- want the steak? The, the steak in the pan, so yes. is is that one of those pans with the little... It's a griddle pan. Okay, yes. and there's yes. no oil in. I put just a little bit. Remember, the, oh, no, I haven't squirted it yet because I'm going to do this when it comes off. Because I want to have the olive oil because there's a nice piece of fat um, on this meat. But when it comes off, I'm definitely going to anoint it. But there's nothing the in the pan. Oil. There's no oil in the pan nothing, now. Nothing. Nothing okay. cooking in its okay. own juices. And that's, I think, something people do is they put too much oil um, in the pan and then this has a little swim mm-hmm. and it makes the meat tough. So you can always oil your meat, especially if it's like fillet. Fillet has got no marbling. It doesn't yeah. have any meat. It's actually for, I hate fillet. You know why? Hey? Because you can suck the meat. You don't even have to chew it. So I like meat with texture like a ribeye and ah, a sirloin okay. and a rum, you know, that kind of thing. I had, ama- I had a, an amazing ribeye last night. It was just absolutely oh. awesome. A, a well, a well prepared piece of meat is phenomenal. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yes, I have to agree. And you know what? I, I'm, I'm just going to give someone a little punt here, unintentional. 
But you know, normally you see these specials, uh, especially now because we're all sickling and we're praying out the specials, come to Yamsha's people. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's not the punt I'm going to give. I was in the waterfront, I was doing some shopping, and I saw like this 500 grand T bone for 500 grand at uh, Gibson's. And I said to David, mm, you know, sometimes you know, the meat, the meat, the meat, it's going to be tough and horrible. It's one of the nicest steaks I've had in 50 years. I haven't mm. eaten a steak like at home for six months or eight Jeez. months. Um, and it really was good value. So what you're saying is a good quality piece of meat and mm. Aiden goes a hell of a long way. I don't believe okay. you, Jenny, because you said it's, it's the best meat you've, you've eaten in 50 years. You're only 47. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> I just love you. <laughs> a little bit of salt. Yeah. In my a, salsa. I a know it little looks bit. Like a lot. No, no, it looks like a lot. It's not really. You shouted us about uh, about not eating salads in the new Mura. Half a packet of salt in there. <laughs> and, I mean, and olive oil. <laughs> yeah, the olive oil is the healthy one. Look. Yeah. Okay. I'm now going to put the pan sure. off and I'm going to do this. Look at that. Okay. That now is going to be beautiful. You're getting the smokiness. Now she's delicious. covering. Cool. She's covering, uh, she's covering it with... Um, Olive oil with a little That's bit of extra olive oil. Virgin. And are you letting you can let that piece of meat rest? Are you? I'm going to because if you press it, in fact, boy, show me a finger, not that finger. Mm -hmm. Just give me, give me a finger. There we go. Okay, so now look at us um, all holding our fingers here. Oh, it's about and to Oh. Okay, I'm going to just take this out of here because uh, Mr. Morris is having an absolute cook attack. Because I'm making so much smoke and on his I'd lenses. So I'm going to put this outside my kitchen door. <laughs> Why are we showing you our fingers? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm coming. <laughs> okay. I stopped. Yeah, I know. Because, yeah. I'm okay. always, I'm always a little whoosh this morning, okay. so I'm just not going to... So I mean, which finger you... are you showing me? Show me your... I'm Julian, showing you my pinky. Boy, behave not. A pinky. Okay, I would say... They're showing what index fingers. They both mm. are showing okay. you index <laughs> fingers. Okay, okay. Go like this and push it. Hard against your head. Yes. That's well done. Okay. Go on your nose and give it a little wiggle. That's medium. Mm. Look at you, Ed, and you have cooked a piece of meat before. No, you've, Go you've, onto your you've, bottom lip. You must have shown this to us 20 times, but we're doing it just to be nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now everyone, ah, that's look at that. That's rare. That's rare. Go but, inside. Uh, uh, that's blur. Uh. That's blur. Very rare. That's mm. blur. But, yes. But now some people have crusty lips. Yeah. <laughs> so when they do the lip one, it well, might they, not work. They had a good job. They got hard heads. You know, what? Uh, Put your mask on. They are those oh. ones. That head is like a rock. You must get those ones like to stick up all the years with that when they used to fight. So oh, you must know your audience no. also sometimes, Jenny. Anyway, listen. Oh. Uh, while while all of that's resting, we'll get Jenny to knock uh, to knock the salads together. We'll do whatever else. This is hot breakfast. Hot breakfast. Six to nine a.m. All right, Jenny is in the kitchen. She's got a meat cleaver in her hand. She's got a piece of bacania <laughs> that has been beautifully uh, fried slash roasted in a pan I, you're now throwing some what's that sugar I, I can't really see from where red I'm sitting red espresso red oh, cappuccino okay. red cappuccino I'm going to give you options mm, nah. but you see do you remember last year when we were in the theatre uh, took um, gave you boys for Christmas some glasses and um, uh, cocktail shakers yes because you yes. wanted eggnog do you remember yeah, we go. Yes. yes we remember the eggnog yes. yeah and then I started giving it some thought. Um, and when I was doing my rusks, for instance, Ed, and you had them on the mountain during lockdown. Yes. You remember, Jules there wasn't we go. there. Jules was in there, yeah. I, I was freaking out. I thought, where, how, where, where am I going to sell my rusks, you know, because people are trapped indoors. And then I did this vegan show, vegan and vegetarian, which only goes out on Saturday. But because of COVID, we had to film everything. And I met this spice chai. And I thought, hmm, can you imagine dipping my rust into that? Um, and then I thought, hold on a moment. When Julian um, said about let's move forward um, and do some little stuff for Christmas and a build up to hold eggnog. But now we're living in a hot country, number one. Mm -hmm. So I thought, let me do an iced eggnog. Um, number two, you don't want to be eating raw eggs. Yeah. Because you know, normally they do make it with raw egg. And the alcohol supposedly kills it. Depends on how much they put in it. So... I am, I'm going to use the spice chai, and they normally put in the eggnog um, some nutmeg, which is delicious. Okay. You know what? This is going to make the best, the absolute best. 
So I'm going to make a nice iced one for you. Um, so the spice and, chai um, that you sent us, this is what yes. you use? Yes. There we go. Beautiful. That's, that's what it looks and like. And then I just want you to, and, 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 and I'm very excited to say people can buy a combo of this and my rusks online now. I'm blessed. I'm wow. blessed to have somewhere. So, um, uh, David, where can they get it? Redespresso.coza. <laughs> Redespresso.coza. Don't laugh at me at taps. I am very blessed. I don't get a salary, eh? Hey? <laughs> I've got to work hard for my money. Okay, so custard. This is from a box. That's your egg for your nog. Yeah. How much whiskey do you want, boys? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've got to give this to David before we go to work. Yeah, go, give him a lot. I mean, he puts up with a lot, Shame. Give him a lot of whiskey. He's lucky that he's got mm. a lot yeah. to put up with. Sure. <laughs> right. And then so, you, sorry, yes. Jenny said, was the um, red espresso? Yeah, uh, no, I've used, the, the, I've used this one. I've used oh. the, the, the cappuccino. Uh, you can use cappuccino if you want to do it rooibos and go traditionally South African. I'm using the spice chai. It's okay. really delicious. It's an instant one, so it dissolves nicely. And so you, I saw you put in three spoons, like three I big put spoons. I put two. two, two nice big ones, yeah, because there's a lot of whiskey in here. Mm-hmm. This is ideal milk. Okay. Oh, I love ideal milk. So do I. But you can use milk, and if you want to stick to like because it's vegan, you can use coconut milk. You can use oat milk. Any of those milk. Aiden, you've been to Thailand. Yes. Have you ever had that beautiful iced coffee on the on in the street where they they make like a moor coffee? And they put in ideal milk and condensed milk. Mm-mm. Oh, my heaven. It's I too delicious. I don't do condensed milk. Not. <laughs> Trauma from my childhood. It's a, no. Me too. Mm-mm. We used to have it in tea. I love it. Love yeah. it. Okay. I'm not going to shake. I'm going to blitz. It's going to make a hell of a noise for two seconds. Okay. And then she's blitzing. Let's blitz. All right. Oh, this is going to be so delicious. Okay. Oy vey. If I drink it, I'll be dancing on the tables at work. Can you imagine my customers? It's a bacania salad and eggnog. Mm, look at that. In look. a nice, in a, in a fancy oh. flute glass. Look Some... at that. Oh. Okay, that's our Christmas morning breakfast um, mm. drink, eh? Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Look at that. Where's the ice? It's already all crushed up. Oh, did you put the ice in there? Mm. I missed that. Oh, my goodness. I'm not joking. It's just the right amount of spice. I hate it when it's overspiced. It's like, oh, too much whiskey. <laughs> never, 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 never. never. Okay, no such you an amateur, you need, you, you need to practice more often so that the whiskey doesn't take you by surprise. I That's think I've dropped that one off with the There's the bacania. Bacania Ike, look. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is... Can you give that baby next to you a piece of that steak, please? Oh, He's watching I, I, you. I was going to ask you, can I? Yes, so, give him a piece of steak. Watch him. What hand? Okay, she's now feeding the what dog. Hand? Okay. Aww. What hand? Show me. Ha ha! Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ryan even, taught him that. Even Aww. Jenny's doggy's coming to do cameo tricks. Uh, for the Facebook <laughs> video. We're loading this uh, to Facebook when, you, when, when the show's done so you can have a look yourself. Oh, His just... name is Ugrish. Okay. You know what Ugrish means? Ugrish. It's Polish for bite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As if the dog speaks okay. Polish, but anyway. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's bite in Polish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then just this beautiful nectarine salsa. Look at that, oh, Aiden. Oh, man. Come, that baby. Talk to me. That looks awesome. She didn't yeah. even tell us what was in the salsa. She did. I've got she explained chili, it. Coriander, spring onion. Mm. Why don't you just chop it? Jules, you must way. pay attention. Sorry. Exactly. I'm mm. sorry. Shopping online again. Hey. Like me mad this child. Yeah. Another little bit of that, Julian. Yeah. Um, on the vegan rusks, just before you pick it up. Oh gosh, look there. That's just for Julian's sake. Um, all the heat making the wires fall down. On the vegan rust, I've just had to relabel them because this is made with real butter. <laughs> Bloody printers, I tell you, I want to kill them. But anyway, so that combo's out there, Aiden. Yep. Please support me. Support our Jen. espresso. We'll stick the details Don't up when we load this video onto Facebook. Jenny, it's it's been a blast as always. Thanks a million. You have a marvelous, marvelous day, all right? 
Take care, my baby. Bye, babies. Jennifer. Bye. Love you a long time. Fooding Bye, around Jenny. in Jenny's kitchen this morning. Fooding around with Jenny Morris on Heart FM.